Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to more Amnesia the Dark Descent. We are back in here just trying to find a way out, trying to find uh, something to bust up some bricks with. And so far, not much. I will attempt to... Use... Okay, cool. Let's try this knight's helmet. And go! Yeah! Now that's using your head. Okay. We're through. Cool. Uh, more memory. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Remember that. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful that all right, so we got some mechanism we're going to work with. It's going to make a chankity chankity chank. Oh, we got to get that. Duh! Using my body to break it. Okay. How about. Eh. Dig, dig, get, duh. Eh. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, some local folklore. Aldstadt and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Aldstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you'll hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tails, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers, hey! The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition of to steal living creatures. It is their prey, which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. This is going to go for a bit. Uh, <laughs> but I don't mind. Hopefully you don't mind either. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Allstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in a local inn for a fortnight. That's uh, two weeks, not the shooty game, kids. Just spelling. As he looked for remnants of kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Mmm. Delicious not vitamin water. The Immortal Baron. The Baron in Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt, and like most of the noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role of, as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recovered. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of this country. All right. There's a big lore bomb for you kids. Light. I said light. Hold on. Try to get my light on. Do the freaking oil lantern. Do, do the oil lantern. I want to do it. I have oil. I just picked some up. Don't do this to me. Well, before I leave, is there anything else over here? Oh, this door. That'll help. It's locked. Cool. Oh, boy. Where to next? 
I was already there. I was already here. Got the rocks and the rocks. Can't jump out the window. That'd be silly. What else am I missing? Can't do anything with this. That's just a book. Hmm. There's gotta be something else in here that I'm missing. Check every freaking shelf. No, I want light. Okay, I guess we're not gonna use light. We're gonna have to light the room like so. I got some spare tinder boxes. I might as well go for it. Okay. Hmm. Is there a hole in the roof or something? Like, are these boxes just set dressing, or is it like, hey, you can get up to somewhere? I can also light these. Ooh. Oh, I thought I had something. Uh, I can't see. Okay. Um, wait a minute. A draft and fate ladder come behind the shelf. There must be a way in. Yeah. Um. <sighs> hmm. Crate. And... Curse you, Crate. You're supposed to be the thing to help me. Okay. Anything up top? No. Okay, but there's something here. Okay, so that's... Hold on. Let, let's follow the room. Let's follow the room. So that's going to go there from here. That is over this way. There is no way I'm getting through there. Okay, lame. So one thing I do have to say, this game definitely has some creepiness to it. It's not, like, super scary yet, but I'm sure it will be soon enough. Hmm. Can't pick up these bricks. No. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just look around a little bit for some thing that I can use to possibly get me through here. Uh, I'll be right back in just a jiff. And let's rock! Dang it. Can I burn it with my lantern? Burn? Burn you anything? No. Dang. What? Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Oh, I almost got it. I think I almost got it. I think I almost got it. Um, hey. That works. <laughs> this game's been out for like eight years. How do they not patch that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. And I'll also take this key. Please and thank you. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, I really wasn't that scared. I kind of put that on a little bit. But, uh, yeah. All these things come out of nowhere. This is not psych horror. This is, you know, just... Get, you know, jump scare nonsense. All right, now, can I get back through here again? Did I break the game? Oh, God, I hope I didn't break the game. I wonder if maybe that's why they didn't patch it. Because it's like, oh, yeah, you know, you can get in, but you can't get out, sucker. Um, all right, hold on. I'll find a way to get out of here. Give me a second. So, yeah, I'm a dummy. I broke the game. I, uh, <laughs> had to restart a little bit. Ooh. You hear that? If it's oh, baby, up there. Okay. All right. Yep, I see it now. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. All right. Cool. Oh, give me. And there we go. Got that. Got it. Got it. Got it. I already read that. Okay. Cool. So that's, I guess, pull some books. Okay, so there's one there. There's one here. And where's the last one? There. Alright. Come on. There we go. Yay! I did it actually properly this time. <laughs> Oh, God, that was great. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, that's right. That was a thing. Ooh. Regarding closing of the wine cellar. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. 
Oh yeah, his voice. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar that will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they'll starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. <gasps> the wine is poison! It's laced with arsenic! Is that what it is, you bad man? Okay, so now that I've got the key, I can go down to the wine cellar, and I can get them chemicals to do the things and the stuff. Alright, let's go! But, uh, quick question. How do I get back? This is blocked. Oh, I got a memento? Hold on. Or a note. There's stuff. Yeah, okay. Da-da-da. Yeah, I saw about the acid and the things like that. Okay. Oh, uh, boy. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to be back in a bit. Or I can just follow this freaking door. Nice, I'm smart. Okay. Got a few more places to look at here. Door won't budge. Oh, this is this place. I've been here around here. So that's that door. All right, neat. Is there anything else I missed? Coming back here again? Anything? Probably not. All right. Let's go back. I think I remember that. Nope. <laughs> I was wrong. Okay, I need to remember the way back. Okay, so that just leads to there. That leads to there. That leads to here. But then that... Oh, hi! Hello, friend! Hi, big guy. Uh, how's it going? Um, are you the one serving hors d'oeuvres? Um... Oh, okay, okay, that actually got me a little bit. That actually got me a little bit. Uh, <laughs> okay. Alright, game, I see you. I see you, baby. What the... Is this the third note again? Hold on. Uh, hopping away like a little frog. 17th of May. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, we read this. We read this. Go away. Fast forwarding. Alright, we're getting our way. A handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down on the brim of his hat. He braced himself as the cavern suddenly shifted and settled. Oh my, what the hell? Whoa. All right. Cool. Um, great. Does that mean that I'm just taking damage while I'm across? Hold on, I saw I got a health bar over here. Health, all is good. Head, head is pounding and hands are shaking. So my sanity has taken a wicked hit. I gotta go across, because the wine cellar is down in here, I think? Okay, uh, we're going, we're doing stuff. Now, was it here? We'll find out in a second. And we have the wine cellar, nice. Use the key. Okay, so I gotta go into my items, select the key, and then do it there, okay. At, I mean, it makes sense, but yeah. The stone slab looked like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. So you got lucky. You, I, character, whatever. Got hella lucky there. Okay, we are on the move again. Going to the wine cellar, look for some chemicals. We're going to make something acidic to break apart that red goop. Interesting voice. Beware when standing in the darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment. I know. I'm trying to. I don't have any oil, do I? No, I don't have any oil. But I got plenty of tinder boxes. And I can turn on lamps. Or light up lamps. And torches. If there were any. Um, ooh, a little candle. All right, fine. Wine bottle go, yeah! Me. What's happening? Oh, feel like my chest is going to burst. Anybody seen the movie Alien? Kind of like that. My God, Wilhelm, do something! 
Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Yep, he iced him with the wine. As you do. Yeah, we got uh, pieces of... Are these pieces of dudes? Are these just human pieces? Pieces of men? Organs? Something? Oof, that's a little disturbing. Alright, back out. Yeah. Any lights? Anything? Ooh, a note. Cool. Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the Castle Brennenberg, as most of the aristocracy. I was curious about what the supposed Knight of the Order would want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of this contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim, and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly, and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I've done. I was weak and fell into his diabolical ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides rolled against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer. He even took the time to write out the ellipses at the end. <laughs> Ooh, Aqua Regia. Hey, I have a thing. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, where are the other chemicals now? Are they in here? It's a box. And a wicker bowl. And fly wicker. Okay. So... I've got that, which is cool. Where's the other stuff? Eh, nope. Okay. There is a lot to look at in this wine cellar. I think I just turned in one particular direction. Yes, other rooms. Let's go. Okay. We're getting tasting notes from the great beyond. Hammer. Hammer time! Alright. Yeah, I'll use some more tinder boxage, I suppose. Gotta be careful about it, though. I got a feeling. Hey, there we go. Calamine. Oh. Ow. Oh, man, that wine really goes straight to your head, doesn't it? <sighs> okay, where are we at now? What's gonna happen? Gah, bad jokes. All right, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'll be all right. I totally lit that earlier, but now it's out. That seems kind of a not cool thing. Tinder box, rope, saw, more tools laying on the wall. Okay, well I got our second chemical. The barrel contains a full refill worth of oil. My lantern is now fully refilled. Tight. So now I've got a full lantern with... Nothing. Darn. Okay. Well, we're not getting out this way. Lantern, go. Where else can we escape from? Or do I have to pick up the hammer and, like, just hold it? Nope, not the brick. Hold the hammer against things, maybe? Eh. Gi. Gi. Eh. Up, uh, up. Uh, okay. <laughs> that seemed like it worked. Do it again. Bring it open. Bring it open. Nope. Okay. All right. Um. Hmm. Try boxes. No. 
What about the wine barrel that got me? Can I do anything with that? Uh, yeah. And then the only thing I can do, I got these things. Oh, I can push. I can push things. Uh, uh, I'm using my manly strength to pull it out of the way. Rah! And then I need to do it with the boulder. I am a super strongman. I like it. Get this girder. And then get you out. And get you out. And open you back up. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Test of strength and will, baby. Stop blowing in my ear like that. It's not cool. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be very careful about using my oil and my uh, tinder boxes here. Never know when I'm gonna run into more. No. I always have to check the drawers. I mean, resources are key. It was already here? Dang it, I was already here. Ah, I'm getting turned around here. So I went there. I went there. Now I need to go here. A little bit of light. And there's our other chemical, the cuprite. Oh, we're having a trip. Alright, we're fine. We're good. Back out we go. And then somewhere over here. Yes. Random bottle. Thought that was a door. I was wrong. Ooh, there's a door there too. Nope. No, we're not going in there, I guess. Nope. Okay. Sorry. Wrong door. My bad. If an enemy is near, stay out of sight and hide in the darkness. Enemies! Cool. I love enemies. They make everything fun. And rocks are falling. And rocks are falling. Uh, I don't like this. I don't know if it's just it's legit cold here in the house or I'm experiencing some legit chills like I got the uh, the old goosebumps brewing here I'll be all right oh hey that's why I wouldn't buzz is a barrel but this still has to have the chemical in it somewhere all right there we go tinderbox now normally boxes are square or cubed in shape. I've certainly seen some round boxes. All the boxes I found, the tinder boxes I found, are all these cylinders. And there we go, the Zorpament. I've got the last of our chemicals. And now I can head back upstairs to the room. Yay! I did it. I solved the things and stuff like that. Am I gonna run into Mr. Evil Man again? Is is that gonna be the cool thing that happens? After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin on SS Hortensia, headed for London. Mm hmm. So, yeah, there's a lot of lore. Lots of lore to process, which is cool. Ow! Rude. Okay, um. Crap, where do I go? Where's that room? Oh, dang it. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, found it. It became impossible to avoid. The commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire, and the two young men fighting back. Oh, on, sorry. Their voices were silenced in the haze of gun smoke. Alright, so we're back in the lab. And we're ready to do, uh, do a little chemistry. I can't wait. Chemistry, not my best subject in school. Uh, your boy got D's both semesters. But hey, D's get degrees. Don't shoot for D's, kids. Don't, 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 don't be like me. Don't be the guy who did summer school for a couple of years to make up credits and went through other things just to barely graduate on time. Nah, we ain't about that life. Forward chemicals. Okay, so I need to go in here. I guess Aqua Regia we can go there. Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh, it's over there. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's going left to right. Oh, God. Okay. That was... Uh... Ah! Uh, no! Hello? Anybody? Uh, not cool. Okay. So now I've got our chemicals here. Ready to go. Um, is there any way to formula? Yeah, hold it in the circular motion with the stick, turn the wheel. Okay, so they're heating up now. Okay, so... The one over here heats up, goes through there, and gets down. So I need to mix things. But how do I mix them? What's the order? Is this trial and error? I'll just mix them all together. Screw it. Okay, I remember the note vaguely. Okay, everything's in. There needs to be a container. Oh, cool. Thanks for telling me. Where in the heck am I going to find an empty container? I mean, I've got plenty of bottles. Is this the right bottle I'm going to need? Will this just magically work? Eh? Maybe? Anything? Eh. Stand up. St stand up straight, you son of a... Get, get, get. <sighs> cool. Alright, well at least I know what I need to do. Now I just need to find an empty container. See you soon. All right, I figured it out. I had that chemistry pot. Yeah. So I guess let's go ahead and do it again. Turn on the valves. Turn on the valves, please. Cool. Uh huh. Oh. Uh ha ha ha. And ha. Steam and then build and then there we go. Got ourselves a nice pot of acid. Two things that you shouldn't try, kids. One more so than the other. Okay. So we've got our pot of acid. We can now burn up and dissolve the nasty stuff. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm dumb. Oh. Wait. Man, do I have to do parkour? Hold on. And parkour. Okay. Nope. Where am I going? Where am I going? I know I'm not dumb. There's no way I'm making it through there. No other ways to look at. And then... Well, that's where I came from. I was just here. Another secret door? Any secrets at all? No? Alright. Weak. Okay, how the hell do we get out of here? Is this where I gotta pick up the barrels and carry them around and use them to get up? I mean, I don't know if that's supposed to be what I'm supposed to do, but I'm gonna do it. No, stand up straight. Stand up straight. Th thank you? No, dang it. Okay, hold on, hold on. That's like my closest thing, but there's a railing on it. And parkour? Maybe if I was running. And parkour! Nope. Alright. Uh, boy. <sighs> Where am I going from here? How about... Ooh. I can use object card to reach places. Yeah! No crap! Thanks. Oh, what? Uh, uh, cool. Just automatically fall into place. And then the ladder... Hey, I'm up! Hooray, I did it! I figured it out. All by myself. Oh, no. My thing is out. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. It's fine. Alright. He sat down by the casbah while grasping for, gasping for air. Excuse me. Sweat poured from his forehead and onto the ground and blah, blah. Alright. Uh, ah, ah, there's more red stuff. That's the wine cellar. I need to go there. I need to go back into the room, down the stairs, and over to the wall of red goo. Okay. 
Uh -huh. I believe we're on our way. Honey, I'm ouch home. I got your acid. Let's go to our menu and acid. Dissolve it. Yeah, buddy. There we are. We are in there. Over to the refinery. The cloth smelled of desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought. Or perhaps too few. All right. Next section. More blinding light. Great. It sure is dark in here. Oh, it's yes, I got gotcha. you. Me. Good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. Way ahead of you. What's the reason for the darkness? That is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? I don't want to wake up mom and dad. Jeez. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. I'm going to try and not light anything. More enemies again. All right. And crouch in the darkness. So, yeah, I got to be careful using all my uh, tinder boxes on these overhead lamps. Okay, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. Oh, man. Big old wine kegs, casks, whatever you want to call them. All right. So here we go. What is else is in here? That was not English. <laughs> A lot of nothing, it seems. Okay. I'm just going to go in the room where I saw the big, you know, lumbering dude go. All right. Cool. Yeah. My fun. My favorite. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. So many directions to go in, I don't know. This will start here. Oh, crap. I didn't see my tinderbox thing. Dang it. Hi. Uh, it's just me. 22nd of June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. I'm sorry, it's been Coachella. Inside the underground chamber in Algeria. Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the world. That actually does make sense. Good professor. In retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. Mm -hmm. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. They're friends. I tried to assemble it. Yeah, I, mean, I have a problem with jigsaw puzzles too. As if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? It's actually not a perfect sphere. It's like a prolate spheroid, kind of like an American football. But that's okay. You don't know about that, and you won't. Okay. Um, I guess here. Anything else? Anything else? I could really use more tender boxes, but I'll I'll take what I can get. Door. Wait. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, nothing. And this is where the other thing was. And I've gone in a circle. So I guess my next task is to... Oh, Jesus! What the hell? Oh, the red stuff again. All right. Cool. Cool. What's my health at? A few cuts and bruises. And my sanity head is packing. Pouking. And his pounding hands are shaking. Okay. Oil is about half. And I've got one dude. I'll put it in there. Why not? I don't think I need to really make room in my inventory. But I might as well. Door is blocked. Great. Um, ooh. Here, perhaps? Yay. Yeah. Hola. Ooh, another paper. 25th of June. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. Journaling, very important. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. 
Oh, they just need some nurturing and discipline, and they'll behave a little better. And texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and noted any significant markings. Oh, they're getting tattoos. Oh, those kids are in bad shape. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care, and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Rocks and ice. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. I'm not going to say it was aliens, but it was aliens. Ooh, hi. Laudanum to increase my health. Hey, I will s I was my own thick, juicy backside. <laughs> Knock that chair over. All right. Uh, off with the lamp for a second. Okay, on with it for a second. Because I got more oil here. Tight. Uh, more stuff, more things, and just another loopy doop. All right. So now what do I do? I've been everywhere, man. Across the desert's bare, man. Breathe the mountain air, man. Oh, this is new, is it? Is it new? Am I looping around to places? Okay, that's the one that's blocked. Oh, hey, nice. I figured it out. And here we go again. So now, I think I have an idea of why they call the game Amnesia. Because our boy Daniel is forgetting things from his trip to Algeria. And it's stuck. Something's clogging the crank and pulley contraption. Okay, where is it going to be coming from? Oh, here. I'm not liking that noise. Get that stick. Hold on. I saw it. Grab the stick. Grab the stick. There we go. All right. So now I can do that to open up that door. Yay. Awesome. I know these puzzles are going to get way harder from here. Okay. Hold on. How, how am I crank the thing? Hold on. It crank, please. What? what? Hold on. Because it's not going to let me just grab this. and. Yeah, I know it's heavy. That's why I'm trying to use the freaking thing I just fixed. Jeez, game, what do you take me for? Anything else I can look at? The secrets? Nah, just more boxes and torches. Alright, so yeah, I know I need to... Oh, wait, am I miss I'm missing something else. Yeah, that's a... yeah I gotta connect these two. I can't just... You know, do willy nilly. I could turn it, but it ain't gonna turn nothing. So I need maybe a piece of rope. I don't have anything in my inventory. I'll re oil my lantern now. Uh, what else is here? These. Oh god! What the hell? That's. I thought that was like a, 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 something else, not a death. Oh hey, nice. This barrel contains less than half a lantern worth. My lanterns flew your field. The barrel contains a few drops. Okay, so that's pretty uh, accurate. I thought it was just catering to my uh, specific needs. All right. Um, well, give me a second to figure out what I need, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I was dumb. The barrel was in front of it the whole time. Cool. Oh, God, I'm the best. Is it open now? Yay. <laughs> All right, so this is definitely going a bit long. So we're... Oh, God. Let's find us a good landing point, and then I think we'll cut it for today. Uh, but we're getting stuff. Okay, who is next? Am I still crouched? Okay, not anymore. Good. And then to the cellar archives. All right. Well, I think that's a good place to... No, actually, almost... He crashed to the surface. The dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. All right. So, yeah. That will be a good place to go. We made our way to the thing. Fa Stop it! Stop it! 
trying to end the episode, and now there's water. My... Man, I just bought these new shoes. Oh, man. Oh, my God. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, my God. What the hell? What the... What? 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 Keep out of the water. Wow. The... <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I got a little scared. Got a little scared. Want to stay out of the water? All right. So I got to take refuge on these boxes. Okay. Well, yep. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm going to see you next time on the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I mean, not you. Thank you out there in YouTube land for subscribing, uh, leaving likes and the comments and the sharing with your friends, your loved ones. Uh, so until next time, take it easy. Uh.